the what I notice is also is that um, uh, the, the the industry has uh, completely destroyed uh, the the role uh, because there is uh, almost everybody seems to think it's uh, about uh, some kind of a process owner, and if it's truly horrible, then it's a Jira administrator. So it's kind of like a, the term is so so yeah destroyed. It's the role is so destroyed in industry that it become very unclear. So I would. Um, uh, have something more generic. Uh, people who are basically helping teaching teams um, in uh, uh, in continuous improvement, They're assisting teams in continuous improvement, and so they can do that also, especially from a technical point of view, which is the most lacking part. I agree. I think agile coach as a industry, agile coaching as an industry, is sending the profession of agile coach just into the same into the same yes. pit of ambiguity and misinformation as, as the role of scrum masters ended up in, in my exactly. mind, I, I've been learning a lot about, uh, team coaching, particularly professional team coaching the last three, four months. I've got another six months of learning ahead of me and it's been utterly mind blowing learning about the, the state of professional team coaching and how it's seen that the the people who have written some of the best books on it. So I'll, I've got a book here, building, building, performing, Top performing teams um, is an interesting book, and the authors are my lecturers at, at university, and they've done a huge amount of research into team coaching. And that's really good. It, it's fascinating because when you read it, you're like, "Oh, well, this is kind of what agile coaching, and actually, this is kind of what being a scrum master was all about." And we've got an agile world, and we've never there's never been enough done. I think I see agile did a good job of their syllabus, but it's too for our agile coaching, but it's too individual focused. And I think the word scrum master, I think there's a phrase ignoring people's opinions on whether or not it's a, a good label or not. It, it, just, it has become meaningless as a role. And I think that there is so yeah. much value to be had from real team coaching. And I wish that we could yeah. just say scrum masters and agile coaches, you're all the same because you've all ended up at the same level anyway, from what I can see. Let's just embrace it and say, right, we're agile team coaches. And let's just focus on teams and teams of teams and just say that the organization is a big group and let's just focus our coaching efforts rather than trying to, you know, like I say, be uh, an owner of a process. Because I've seen people with the role of Scrum Master be brilliant, absolutely brilliant, and not do anything like Scrum Mastery. Because what that team at that point needed was someone to take a, a, a leadership role. Because they all figured that somebody, they were all waiting for someone else to do it. So this person, they come in, they take a bit of a leadership role, they spur the right things, and then they step away. And that team are rolling and they're doing stuff. They're in a position where they can meaningfully be coached. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I actually like it. 